Hey guys, welcome to a YouTube channel where we discuss everything that is happening in electric vehicle ecosystem in India. And first of all, happy new year to everybody. And this is the first video of 2021. So guys, uh, the first important news of today is about Tata Nano EV spotted while getting tested on the roads of Hyderabad. So, um, you know, the Tata Nano's main uh, models production was stopped. But what happened later on was that Tata entered an agreement with another company called JM Neo, J A Y E M Neo, uh, which was developing its electric car for uh, Tata Nano. And the project has been in uh, under progress for more than three years now. And now what we do uh, see is that the model is being tested on the Indian roads. Uh, but the model uh, which was being tested did not have Tata Nano branding. It had jm neo branding but it looked exactly like tata nano uh, the vehicle also had sticker on it uh, its windows which said that the battery was 70.17.7 kilowatt hour battery and uh, 203 kilometer range so uh 17 unit battery if i compare it with let's say tata nexon has a 30 unit battery and 200 kilometer range is a claimed range so i would say that under actual condition it might give you a range of 150 kilometers to 175 kilometers so uh now when this model will be launched is a uh, complete mystery but if this model is launched i believe this will be the cheapest electric car again in india because if you remember guys tata nano was launched as the cheapest car in india under one lakh rupees and now with the um, uh, nano ev coming i'm pretty sure it's gonna be the cheapest car right now the contender for the cheapest electric car is the tata Eltros ev uh, which is gonna come next year uh, uh, tata Eltros ev or mahindra EKUV. one of these cars will be the cheapest electric car but if tata nano ev comes then definitely i think it will be the cheapest car the top speed is 85 km per hour um this is a bit of a you know not a very high speed for a car like i can get this much speed on a bike electric bike so uh, a speed point of view i would have expected uh you know a higher speed and also if you see that uh, in the model which because the photo belongs to somebody else i can't share that photo but uh, you can go and check it out on google and you know it has dual tone alloy wheels it has neo badges and it retains the exact body shell of Tata Nano. So guys, uh, let's just wait till Tata Nano is launched. And I feel that once Tata Nano EV is launched, the Nano's brand, which uh, once kind of did not work in the market, will again work because electric vehicle is all about the lowest, uh, what do you say, lowest operating cost. And I believe Tata Nano EV will produce immense use cases immense opportunities in commercial segment as well not just in personal even if it does not do well in personal segment it is my gut feeling that it will do very well in the commercial segment or the taxi segment because already it's a cheap car and then you are putting an electric engine inside it which is gonna consume such less fuel that it's gonna be a very very good uh, opportunity for anybody looking to have a commercial fleet so let's just wait for it and see how it works and if tata nano is able to show the magic this time moving on to the next news item guys uh, it is about tesla and tesla's models have been have reached nepal yes uh, though tesla's model have not reached india i mean some of the people might have imported it imported the completely built unit we have had uh, we recently heard news that tesla will be uh, launching uh, tesla will be launching itself in india in 2021 but they won't be manufacturing here and they will also will not be assembling here it won't be a ckd route that is completely knocked down route it will be a cbu route completely built unit will be imported and once a completely built unit is imported in india it attracts a lot of duties a lot of taxes and a 30 lakh tata uh a 30 lakh tesla s uh you know uh, model 3 might reach a 50 lakh 
model 3 because the gst and and the and the import duty might really increase the cost um so uh, i was talking about nepal and uh, it's a good i mean nepal came out with uh, the policy that the dealers can actually import the completely built models uh, with 30% extra duty so that's what the dealers are doing even though tesla company has not officially launched in nepal but the dealers are importing the tesla models from china and selling it in nepal so let's just wait when it happens in india it's it's a uh, it's pretty good news that this uh, our sm- small uh, himalayan neighbor is uh, getting tesla um, so yep good going uh, for nepal people uh that is it for today um uh you know do subscribe to my channel in case you want to stay updated for everything that is happening in electric vehicle ecosystem in india i come here regularly and make videos uh so see you in the next video till then goodbye happy new year